in the properties to set the base level to finish ceiling one. In the ribbon, you should see a draw panel. In the draw panel, and you will select the pick walls option. For the overhang, you want to change this to one foot. The information about the overhang can be found in this detail view. The overhang is the distance between the exterior wall and the edge of the roof. The overhang will be 12 inches or one foot we will need to make sure we change the overhang to one foot. We'll bring our cursor into the drawing area and select the exterior walls. And that will create the footprint for the roof object. In the layout of the roof we will also need to determine the slope or the pitch. You will notice that the roof slopes toward the front of the house and toward the rear of the house. This is shown in the left and the right elevation. This is what is called a gable roof. The slope or the pitch of the roof is the roof's angle. The pitch is indicated by two numbers separated by a colon. The first number is the rise of the roof and the second number is the run. In this example the roof has a 412 pitch this means for every 12 inches horizontally it goes up vertically 4 inches. You will select the left vertical line and you will take the check out of the box that says defines slope. We will do the same thing for the vertical line to the right of the roof layout. You will select that and remove the check beside defines slope. This will make sure that the roof does not slope left to right. You will need to make sure that the slope symbol is on the line that is to the top as well as the line that's to the bottom of the roof layout. We will also need to make sure we put in the slope dimension. The slope dimension can be found in the eave detail. The slope of the roof for this project will be 4 over 12. So to change the slope of the roof, select the line at the bottom of the roof layout. You should see the slope of the roof show up here. Right now it is 9 over 12. We need to change that to say 4 over 12. So you can select the number 9. That will allow you to edit this value and change it to say 4 inches over 12 inches and press enter. Another way you can do this is if you select the line at the top for the roof layout. You will see the same indicator. You can change this in the properties dialog box. Right now it says 9 inches over 12 inches. You can change the value of the 9 to 4 and press enter and click on apply. This will change the roof pitch or the roof slope to 4 over 12 which is indicated by the drawing. After you have established the overhang and the slope for the roof, 
you want to click on the green check what you may notice is that the roof disappears what you can do is go to your view tab and select 3D view in your create panel of the ribbon. Select the wall. In your ribbon you should have an option that says attach top base. You want to click on that option and then click on the roof. What should happen is the wall should now go up to the bottom of the roof. You can do the same thing on the other side by selecting the wall where it says modify wall in that panel of the ribbon you want to select the one that says attach top base. Click on that and click on the roof.